Hi, Jake. It was great to talk with you for a second earlier. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to shoot this custom video for you. I just want to show you what's going on with your internet presence and then show you um, what it could be. So let's just jump right in here. So when your future customers are searching for your services, the first thing that comes up is the what's called the Google Map Pack. Ideally, we want businesses to be in the top three spots because this is instantly what's shown. I did see that you've got um, a Google My Business listing. Now, it's actually not ranking. Um, and so in order to do that, to of course get you to climb the ranks and then be in the ideal position up here, what would need to happen is, um, well, number one, a website. A website is the absolute most important thing that you need when you've got an internet presence because what that does is that allows Google to link the searching customers to an actual site where they can obviously come to get your contact information and be able to contact you. Um, Google is by far the most heavily searched tool that there is out there. Um, now let me just kind of take one step back and also let you know additionally with a website what would you would need to do to boost this Google my business listing is to have citations what a citation is is it's any time that your business name address and telephone number are listed on the web what Google does is it issues a citation for your business and what that then does is allows you to also gain cred credibility to to climb these local map listings, okay? So now the second part of this, when people are searching for your services that they're going to see, is they're going to see what's called the organic listings, and that's down here. Now, this is the most important um, part because here's the thing, nine times out of 10, anyone searching for a service or a business is going to go to the first page of Google and they're going to select one of these um, top businesses. Now, what I did was I determined who your number one competitor is, that's Olympic Landscape. I pulled their website so we can take a look and then I pulled a little bit more detailed information so you could see with obviously the build of a website for you and then, um, with that Google My Business listing that I was just talking to you about, this thing with um, this reconfigured and, um, you know, uh, 22 pictures roughly added to it. Just, you know, there's a multitude of different things that we could do to build this up and get this ranking higher, but then a, a website build and, um, you could certainly be climbing the ranks and being get noticed and utilize a lot of this traffic that's coming through. So, all right, let's take a look. So this is your number one competitor, Olympic Landscape. Now they've got a beautiful site. There's uh, a ton of information. There's a lot going on here. I mean, it was well put together. The problem it's having is that it is actually got too much content. What Google does is it does a crawl and that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every single website. And um, what Google's looking for is two main things. Number one, it wants to see command content. That's all of the information included on the first page. And it wants to see 1500 words. Within that 1500 words, what they Google also wants to see is organic keywords sprinkled throughout this content, okay? So now, um, I did run the numbers on this site and they've got 2,200 words. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately for you, but unfortunately for them, um, what Google does is anything over 1,500, they start to view the website as looking spammy and like it's got too much going on. So that actually is hurting, hurting their site. The good news is for you is that that means that the site is beatable. It's got errors and things that were done incorrectly on it, which then allows the ability for another business owner to come in and outrank them. So let's take a look at the, this is my web crawler program. And what this does is this analyzes the deep down information that's going on um, for each site. Now I wanna show you the, the most important thing here and that's the UR and the DR. This is your trust factor rating and this is your power rating. What they've got is 1600 backlinks coming into their site and what a backlink is, is essentially a shout out from another website. Another website has a link from their site back to this site. Now, um, what backlinks do for you is A, gain you credibility, and B, gain you exposure. They've got 
1,200 organic keywords sprinkled throughout their content, like I was explaining to you earlier. And what the overall picture is looking like for them is everything that they've got going on is gaining them an organic traffic rate of 1,100 folks. So what that means is 1,100 folks every single month are searching for the exact same services that you offer in the exact same area. And those 1,100 folks are coming to their site, clicking on their, or searching for their services online, clicking on their site, retaining their services, getting additional information, whatever the case may be. The bottom line here is this is a ton of traffic to be missing out on. Um, so, you know, with that being said, if the suggestions that I gave you were were done if you had a website built and you had the content and so forth, um, keywords and then the backlinks placed into that site, you could definitely start climbing the ranks and, and this site is very beatable. So if that's something that you're interested in pursuing, um, if you're looking to grow your business and climb the ranks, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. If this isn't something that you're looking to do, no harm, no foul, I would... I'm so sorry for that. We had a, a temporary little power outage. Um, so what I was saying was, if that's something that you're interested in pursuing, please do not hesitate to reach out. If it's not something you're looking at pursuing, no harm, no foul. I would um, just like to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And again, if um, you have any feedback you'd like to give me, that'd be great as well. I hope you have a great evening.